All right, in today's video, I'm trying to make a quick tutorial on how to install XMRig CC in Termux on your Android device. To make it fast and simple, I'm going to delete my Termux and reinstall everything from start to finish, from no app to mining. So what you wanna do is you wanna get F-Droid on your phone. Do not get it from the Google Play Store because the repositories are dead now. They don't work anymore. You wanna get it from their official website at fdroid.org and just download it right there. Next, what you wanna do is, let me open this up real quick. Get out of here, come on. What you wanna do is after you have fdroid installed, go ahead and search Termux. It'll be this third one right here, click install. Open it. Now, what you're going to want to type in here, let me resize it, there, you want to type pkg update, go ahead and just update the app real quick, and hit yes to all of it, because you want to update it. yes and yes okay next you want to install git and cmake git is going to clone your repositories that you need on your device which today is going to be xmrig cc and cmake is what's going to make the miner so and then i add the dash y just to answer yes so i don't have to so we'll let that install. Is nice and slow today. I love it. This one is going to take some time though. As you can see, it is 329 megabytes. So just give it some time. Once Git and CMake are installed, next you can um, Git clone the repository that we need. So let me grab it real quick here. This is what we need. Go ahead and copy that. Come back over and paste it. Enter. Uh, of course. I forgot a dash. Now, if you list, you have XMRIG CC, but you still have to build the miner. So XMRIG CC list now we have to make a build folder so do make directory build and cd build to go straight into it now if you list it's empty there's nothing in here we have to make the miner so to do that you use cmake and i've provided all of the commands so to make it as clean and simple as possible. So go ahead and copy that in there. Hit enter. Okay, it's really quick for that. This next part, however, is all gonna depend on your device, how good your device is. 
it'll be different for everybody so go grab a cup of coffee some water some tea whatever you want and sit back and relax while this one installs not really installs it's literally building the miner for you right now and we're more than halfway there already to a running miner on Android for today's purpose we're going to be using and connecting our device to the official Uplexa pool but it will work for whatever pool you want to use So as you see right there, there's an error. Don't, don't worry about the errors. Everyone gets the same two errors at the very end of making the miner, but it, they won't matter. It'll still work just fine for you. That's basically done. We'll come back over here and grab our next command, which is going to be this one, which makes our JSON file, our config file. What this file is going to do is, well, let you set up your miner to the pool that you want and the wallet that you're being paid out to. So now the config file is made to enter your config file you enter nano space config dot json just like that hit enter for the purpose of this I'm going long screen because there's a lot so this is what your config file will look like when you first do it and the only areas you need to worry about is the port right here and this area from algo to pass and then down here at CC client will change all of this it's really quick so come to port type control E to go to the end of the line delete the only delete the comma and the zero you want to enter one 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 comma to end it that's it I like to change my donate level to 1 so we're going to do that next the algorithm delete to start the line use apostrophes the algorithm is going to be cn dash extreme light slash upx2 to end it apostrophe comma we don't need to use coin because we just specified in the algorithm what we're doing and what we want and like I said for today's video we're going to use the official pool so where it says URL is when where you enter your pool address so we're going to copy that paste it and again apostrophe comma to end the line the next line where it says your wallet address is just like it says you enter your public wallet address right there to get paid for what you're mining so here's my public address we'll copy that we'll paste it right there again end the line with apostrophe comma or if you want to set a specific difficulty to mine at you would enter it like fifty thousand apostrophe comma and your phone will only mine at a difficulty of 50,000 so 
for the sake of the video, we'll just keep it simple and do that. And the last one you got to worry about right here in this section is pass. And what this represents is the name of the miner, so you don't have a giant list of unidentified miners. So this is my me 10 t 5 g apostrophe comma come down here where it says CC client everything that says true you want to change to false a comma all of these lines I like to delete them and enter null control end null and false and the last one control and false now to ex to exit your miner type control x y to save hit enter now to start your miner you would type period slash xm rig Damon. Now real quick, I'm going to stop it and show you that after you do this, it saves the configuration of your device to the build folder and your x your config.json file right there. So if you were to go look in your config file again, it'll look a little different. Now you have this area. All this represents is how many cores of CPU your phone has. So mine is an octa-core processor. We're using CN Extreme Lite. So there's eight numbers right there. That is ours. That's what we're using. Um, but everything else stays the same just as you just said it. To exit again, just control X. Since we didn't say and we didn't change anything, we don't have to save it or anything. Now go back to the this command and that'll start your miner again I'll clear up my screen here and there you have it you have a working miner on Android mining Uplexa. And as you see, because I didn't set a specific difficulty, it starts off at 50,000 and then it jumps to 150,000. It'll try and find a share at 150,000. After it does, it'll jump to a higher difficulty and keep on climbing until it finds a nice level for my device to mine at. So, if we go over here, I will show you Plexa pool. This is the pool that I set up my miner to work off of. Go to my workers, you enter your public address right here. And down here, it will show you there's the Mi 10 T 5G we just set up. And over time, the hash rate will keep on climbing up for you. So, I hope today's video has helped people out, shed some light, and educated everybody. To stop your miner, just hit Control C to stop it. And let's say you opened a fresh uh, Termux and you want to get back to your miner. You would just go to Termux, type CD, XMRIG, CC, CD, build, XMRIG, daemon. And just like that, you're off to the races. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Have a beautiful day.